More than 72,000 sex workers currently work in cities and towns across the UK, including a rising number of teenagers who are using sex as a way to make money. It's a shocking statistic when you consider the dangers included in this line of work. I want to know what exactly about this line of work makes it so appealing to teenagers. And these people value me, they see what I'm actually worth. I think that's why people want to do sex work, because you actually have people that are appreciating you. And whether their age makes them more open to dangers and exploitation. I would have sex with the men, and when I would, I'd just literally be thrown to the side. Some of them would run off, I wouldn't even get my money. So today I'm meeting a young lady who's actually one of the youngest sex workers in the whole country. She goes by the name of Sadie Lee and I followed her on socials for quite a while now and she seems like this wild nonchalant character but I'm curious to see how she's actually like and why her and millions of other young girls are deciding to get into this choice of work. Should be interesting. I like to be called goddess, just goddess, mm. if I'm being honest with you. Why? Because it's like, it's respect, you know, I'm a goddess. Mm. I'm a goddess, I'm like a god to them. Mm. They worship me. Really? Sadie Lee's just the name next door, that was just my cam name. If you're pretty, you might as well make the most out of what your looks can give you, mm. basically. Like a nine to five, anyone can do that. Do you know what I mean? That's getting rubbish money. To me, like, what do you do? What does your job consist of? Like, what do you actually do? My job consists of men that are like family men or they're, they got husbands or wives, whatever, all different kinds of people. They come to me, obviously they're a bit embarrassed of what they like. So they come to me because it's all confidential and I'll literally do whatever they want. Any weird things that they want. Any weird things? Yeah, I'll do. Oh, beautiful. Lick it and taste some of the water. So, okay, take me through some weird things that they like you okay. to do. So, um, foot worship is a lot. They like to suck and gag on your toes, have it all over your fa their face. They like me weeing on them. I've had people want me to poo in their mouth. I couldn't, I, I didn't do that one, but I've had that guy poo in a cup and ate it, eat my cat, um, cat poo, clean my bath, clean my toilet, wash my dishes. Take me where I want to go, buy my shopping, buy me whatever I want, if I need new clothes, whatever. And these people value me, they see what I'm actually worth. I think that's why people want to do sex work, because you actually have people that are appreciating you. When I think of sex work, I think of literally... Having sex. With yeah, people. having sex, then paying you for sex, so you do something completely different. Yeah, but the sex industry is so big, that's what that's what people don't understand. That it, Some people will get turned on by feet, so that is sex to them. Anything that you're, anything that you're doing to someone and they're getting something off of it. Pleasure out of it, yeah. Yeah, that's sex work. Wow. So even if you're selling feet pics, these girls think, I'm not doing sex work, you are. You are a sex worker if you're selling foot pics. Actually hurting them, kicking them, burning them, whatever. I love doing that. Sorry, you said hurting them? Yeah. What do you mean hurting them? <laughs> like, like, um, like you have a candle and then the wax and you put it on their balls and their dick. Or even just the candle when it's lit and then you just go and burn it like that. Um, pegs, hot sauce, deep heat on their dick. Um, yeah. 
you were literally on cam for like 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. How much did you make in that 10 minutes? I made 60 pounds just from that and then he tipped me 50 pounds. So 110 pound mm -hmm. in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> it just makes me think like, how can you ever go back into working a normal life? Well, I won't go back working a normal life, most probably. And I mean, my videos are out there on all different sites, on porn sites and that. I don't think I'd want to go back to working normal anyway. I'm not the same as other people. I don't fit in with other people. Why do you say you're not the same? Because a lot of, well, a lot of my friends, they didn't agree with what I was doing back in the day anyway. So they're not going to agree with what I'm doing now. But I don't care because they're probably broke and I'm not. Mm. I'm doing better than they are, so I don't really care what people think about me. So what about family? What do the family think? Um, my mum, my mum don't mind. My mum, my mum actually was the one that actually kind of told me about this, to be honest. Like, she always heard about it, do you know? She heard, like, um, people beating up, you know, like, businessmen or, like, prime ministers. She always heard about these kind of people. Do you do you come across businessmen quite often? Um, a like, lot of the men. Do you men, get rich clients? Yeah, I get rich clients, traders and stuff like that, that have like nice apartments and stuff. So yeah. And what is the most money you've ever got from one job? Just one. Um, probably around a thousand. And what did you have to do, or? That one was the one where he wanted me to burn his balls and he ate his poo. So yeah. Right. Everyone is selling foot pics, everyone's doing it. I feel like, yeah, my man's got to accept it. I feel like God's got a soulmate for me, so whoever is my soulmate will accept everything about me. And that's what I personally think. And I don't think it's anything bad. That's what, that, that annoys me. Like, why should, why, why do they need to accept it? Like, people who accept drug dealers, do you know what I mean? Your person, it's because men can't do it. That's why they hate on girls that can. If they could do it, and men was good at sex work, there wouldn't be this whole, like, Ew, you're selling your body. It's only because men can't do it. No one wants to, no one wants to buy pictures of men. How does it feel to be so young and your clients are basically double your age? Well, that's what is amazing about it. The younger you are, the more work you're going to get. They love when you're barely legal, when you're like 18. I got more work when I was 18 than I do now. But I'm happy that I started young because that means I'll probably be a millionaire by 40. That's the plan? That is my plan, yeah. Sex workers do it in less, like, some of them that is like really big that work really hard I mean I'm quite lazy some people that put out content all the time they they can be a millionaire in like two years literally from sex work from sex work yeah that you like once you hit the Dubai the Arab men you're getting money you're getting money mate I need to I need to go over there have you tried to persuade any family, um, any friends? Yeah, like my friends before, if I have friends, I bring them in, tell my mum to try doing it, yeah. The visit with Sadie revealed a different side to sex work I never thought existed, which goes to show just how huge the business really is. I was still eager to know more about the business, so I met up with Tia who recently left an escort agency at the age of 19. So, talk to me. Why did you decide to become an escort? Um, I feel like I decided to become an escort, escort because I felt like it was the easiest thing to do, the quickest way to make money. Um, you know, taking care of two of my parents, studying, do you know what I mean? I feel like that was the easiest thing to do. I've heard about it, I've heard good things, I've heard bad things, you know what I mean? And I thought, let me go for it, let me see how it is. And it is the worst decision I've made in my life, but, you know, I'm here. 
in general how's the money the money the money is good the money is good it is very good i'm not going to lie about that but what i had to go through to get it it wasn't it wasn't nice what do you mean you know being abused, being taken advantage of, being treated like an item, do you know what I mean? I would have sex with the men, and when I would, I'd just literally be thrown to the side. Some of them would run off, I wouldn't even get my money. How was it like being a part of an escort agency? It is horrible. It wasn't fair, it wasn't nice. You know, they wouldn't primarily tell me to sleep with people, but that is what they wanted, do you know what I mean? That's the only way clients could come in for them. That's the only way so they could... So you do always end up sleeping with clients? Yes. I will admit, yes, you do always end up sleeping with clients. Um, so it's not really, it's not just literally about dinner dates? No, no, <laughs> I think that's the least of it, do you know what I mean? I think that's the least of it. They they would want me to sleep with them or they would call us out. And they know about this? They do know about it, 100% they know about it, 100%, do you know what I mean? But they could never say it to us, they don't want us to know, do you know what I mean? They can't say to us sleep with them because it is illegal, yes, but they do know and they want us to do that. They don't call to see whether we're okay. They don't call to see if we've got home safely. They don't care. <laughs> do you know what I mean? They just want their check and they're good. You know, they don't care about us. What do you wish that most people knew about the industry that they don't know about you? I wish people knew how dangerous it was. 100% the most dangerous thing that I've ever been in in my life. Every single day, you know? I'm dangerous. I'm only 19 years old. It's very, very dangerous, especially for a young, person like me you know very very dangerous people leave without paying and when you do question them about it they threaten to slap me threaten to beat me what am I gonna do I'm only a kid in their eyes you know what I mean do you know what the money it made me I can't lie it was sweet it was good you know and it, it paid my parents medical bills it made sure that our lights was on do you know what I mean so I wouldn't say I regret it but I, I wouldn't want to do it again, you know, I feel like just going out there to find a regular job, to be a regular person, do you know what I mean? Who's even going to want to marry me now? Well, you know, I've been slept with so many men. Well, that was a very insightful conversation because it showed that this trade isn't all that glamorous, especially for teenagers as young as her. It made me learn that, yeah, escorting does usually always end up with sex and it's just not a safe environment especially when teenagers that are that young are being faced with grown men it's definitely not a safe environment i know the money benefits are great yes you do get a lot of money out of it but is it really worth it is it really worth it when your safety is at risk your mental health is at risk is it really worth it After the meeting with Tia, I had to meet an escort agent to get a better understanding of the business from their side. I finally got the green light from a West Midlands agency who ran their business from home. No appointments take place here, just the bookings. With a selection of escorts aged between 19 and 45, they aim to have a girl for everyone. Okay, okay, see you later. Yeah, that's Sophie. Uh, I recruited her last week. Uh, she's making me a lot of money. I'm making her a lot of money and basically that's what it's all about. She's happy, I'm happy. Everyone's happy. What actually is the difference between an escort and a prostitute? The difference between an escort and a prostitute is an escort will go out with a client. They'll go for dinner, they'll go on blind dates. A prostitute is a someone who basically sells herself for sex and that's it. That is the difference. So none of your escorts offer any sex to clients or they don't sleep with any of the clients? No, not at all. I'm not trying to sell sex. People need to be educated on call girls because their idea and my idea are completely different. Some people have got it all completely wrong. So what, what is it all about? What, what, what is being a call girl all about? It's providing pleasure, enjoyment, comfort, people meeting new friends, just basically people being happy. So I've always wanted to know, how exactly do you find your escorts? Well, I get about 10 calls a day, girls looking for be a call girl. 10 calls? Yeah, 10 calls. And basically they find us by 
adverts, social media, porno magazines, the internet, various ways, but they will find us if they want to work as a call girl. So what exactly do your escorts actually offer to these clients then? Because surely they're not paying, they're not getting paid 120 pounds an hour just for their time. Companionship, dinner dates, it has got nothing to do with sex. If they want to have sex, that is totally on them. That has nothing to do with our agency. That is totally a decision based on what they want to do. But I'm sure that's how the business works. We don't make girls sleep with other clients. I didn't do this documentary to be scrutinized. Please, just, we talked about this before. Uh, I don't want to have these lines of questions, please. At this point, Mark refused to discuss any further about his agency while being on camera. Oh, you're making the public see it a different way? Well... His reaction to my questioning actually spoke a lot to me because he just had this sense of secrecy any time I mentioned anything sexual. To be honest, it's not illegal to be an escort, but it is illegal to directly encourage it or use it as a means of business. The representative I spoke to knows that without his escort sleeping with clients, he just can't stay in business. He just won't make enough money, but he's just not legally allowed to admit it. It's as simple as that. Sex work remains an integral business in society as the idea of paying for intimacy can be very affirming for people who need human connection and emotional support. With the obvious financial and career benefits, it's clear what makes this field of work so appealing to young girls, but the dangers and exploitation can't be overlooked. Thank you.